10 secret facts about famous logos you didn't know. Logos are probably the most important part of a company. A logo has the job of delivering a direct and catchy message to attract clients just like a piece of bread in the floor attracts ends, you know? If a company has a catchy and good looking one, it can change everything within that company. Just imagine this. If instead of a bitten apple, Apple had, for example, a bitten tomato. <laughs> yeah, no. And since we live in a capitalist society, we're all surrounded by these logos. We see them on TV, internet, gas stations, bus stations, subways, shirts, underwear. Some logos have been so embedded on our heads that we can even recognize them without even seeing their names. Like this one, for example. Come on, you should know this one. What brand is it? Yes, you guessed it. It's Twitter. These famous logos are everywhere, but do you know the story behind them? Many people wonder about the secret behind the woman holding the torch in the Columbia Pictures logo. How was it made? Who is she? Was she even real? Well, just like this one, there's many logos out there that people see on a daily basis, but they don't know anything about. And this is what I'm gonna be showing you here today, guys. Today, I'm gonna be showing you the 10 secret facts about famous logos you didn't know. So go grab some popcorn, some munchies, a cold soda straight from the fridge, because today, my dudes, we're gonna have a blast in this video. Without further ado, let's get straight into it, boys. Vio. If you lived back in the 2000s, you know it was impossible to walk into a tech store and not find a Vio laptop. Vio laptops were the MacBooks of their time. If you carried a Vio to school, you were the coolest guy in class, I swear to God. Vio laptops were first introduced and produced by Sony in 1996, and they put a lot of effort and energy into pumping up the brand, which ended up working really well and became massively popular. But then, out of nowhere, just like Dell, the brand declined and vanished from the face of the earth, and then in 2014, Vio was sold to a Japanese investment firm and the brand no longer became what it once was. But an interesting thing about the company was the logo. The logo was really cool, but it was hard to understand at first. People would be like, why yo? Is that a V or a U? I remember people calling it Mio. Mio? It was a mess. But there was a secret behind why this logo looks like this. Right in between the letter V and the letter A, we notice a wave that becomes part of the letter A. This is because the creators wanted to make it look like the shape of an analog signal, which has this shape. You see the similarity? But that's not it. When we move to the I and the O, we see that it looks like a 10. Well, it is a 10. And it's another homage to the sequences that make up the digital signals this time. It's the 1 and 0. Amazon. Who doesn't know Amazon by now? I mean, you only have to get out of your house and see the packages thrown into houses like it's Christmas. Amazon is Christmas, and Jeff Bezos is Santa Claus right now. Bottom line is that everybody knows Amazon by now, but how many people know the secret in their logo? Not many. People think that the Amazon logo is just a smiley face right there, just for decoration. Well, it is, but it's not at the same time. Not only the A and Z are meant to be the eyes of the smile to highlight their customer service and happy clients, not gonna lie, Amazon does have a great customer service, to be honest. You have other companies that talk to you while they're taking a dump in the bathroom, literally. But the smile in there is also an arrow that goes from the A to the Z in relation to their A to the Z terms and program that covers their clients from fraud and other problems in the company. And it has a double meaning. It also means that they have almost everything you want from A to the Z. And this is a fact. Columbia Pictures is an American film and production studio based in LA, California. Now, just by saying this, it probably doesn't ring any bell or cause any feelings in your body. <laughs> Who cares, Jay? What are you talking about? Columbia Pictures? But what if I showed you this? Now this changes a lot, doesn't it? The woman holding the Columbia Pictures torch is one of the most famous and recognizable logos in history. And I know that you or someone close to you has at least once asked themselves, who is that woman and what's the history behind that logo? Because it's famous, but nobody knows anything about it. Well, the story is actually more random than you think. This logo, and I mean this specific one, was made in 1992. There had been four other logos made prior to this one, but the actual one was created by Mednik Group, which was a logo company that was hired by Sony to create the logo in the first place. This guy hired a woman named Jennifer Joseph. At first, it was just going to be an animation using her face, but during lunchtime, they came to her, wrapped a casual sheet around her, they gave her a regular desk lamp, and told her to hold it for a couple of seconds. They put a light bulb on the lamp and took the picture. This woman didn't know that the picture was going to be the main logo of Columbia Pictures. Absolutely not. A universally recognizable, epic, and majestic logo. And after real life, that she was the main logo, she said, It was kind of gratifying. What? Bruh! You know, I expected a little more excitement from this, to be honest. <laughs> Do I really have to say something about this logo? Come on. <laughs> I think you all already know what this logo is. Apple, the giant corporation that has more liquid money than the government of the United States and charge you $10 for a freaking jack adapter that should be included in the goddamn box. 
calm down, Jay. Meditation. The name of the company was created by Steve Jobs. There is different accounts to this story, but the one considered true is that Steve Jobs visited an Apple farm and immediately thought that the name sounded fun. But this is the name. What about the logo? Okay. The logo wasn't that simple, to be honest. Rob Johnoff was the person who Steve Jobs tasked with making the logo. First, Rob Johnoff bought a bag of apples and drew them from all the possible angles. All of them. This took him days to actually draw the apple from a perfect angle and draw it in a way that wouldn't get confused with a cherry. This was his biggest fear. And then Steve Jobs was the one who added the bite. And then Rob drew the one we all see everywhere nowadays. Chocolate. Mm, just saying the word makes me hungry already. Who doesn't like chocolate? I do. And if you know something about chocolate, you know that the best chocolate is the Swiss chocolate. And from the Swiss chocolate, the legendary Toblerone is made. Toblerone is one of the greatest chocolates ever created, honestly. Not only because of the taste, which is amazing, but for the design. The thing that characterizes Toblerone from all the other puny chocolate designs, you can grab the whole thing with one hand and eat it piece by piece, bite by bite, and this cannot be done with other tablet chocolates. Now, it's clear that the design is supposed to be mountains of chocolate. It's obvious not only because of the shape of the chocolate, but because it's in the logo. Well, the story behind the logo is that Theodore Tobler, the creator of Toblerone, was inspired by the Swiss Alps to create his own chocolate brand, hence putting it in the logo. That's why the mountain we see in the logo and the design are from the Swiss Alps. The secret that not many people picked up on is the hidden bear in the mountain logo. You see it right there? This is because Tobler was born in the Swiss city of Bern, commonly known as the city of bears. And since he comes from the city, he decided to add this little Easter egg in the Logo. What a boss was he, eh? You are a boss, Theodore. A boss. FedEx is a shipping company that was created by Frederick Smith. Now, I know what you're thinking, probably right now. Just a boring shipping company. Who cares, Jay? Just tell us about the logo. Just wait, wait a second. I'm with you on that. You're right. But the history of FedEx is far from boring. First of all, the name FedEx is an abbreviation of the company's original air division. Federal Express. Fed. X. But there was a time when FedEx wasn't the juggernaut that it now is. It was just a small, puny company that nobody cared about, and they used to make very long shipping trips to keep the company from sinking. In one occasion, they were out of money and their loan was denied. This was a big blow for the company because this loan was supposed to pay for the huge amount of fuel that the company was paying for in every shipment. So when the loan was denied, Frederick took the last $5,000 of the company and went to another bank. No, the guy went to Las Vegas and he literally gambled all of the $5,000 on a blackjack table to pay for the $24,000 fuel bill that the company had raked in over the years. And he actually won, which kept the company alive. Well, in the logo, I don't know if you ever noticed, but between the E and the X, there is an arrow, which means that their shipments are super fast and 100% reliable. Once you see it, you cannot unsee it again. Toyota, the automotive company that has the most iconic and legendary cars ever. The Corolla, the Prius, the Yaris, and the list goes on and on and on. It's basically almost impossible to go out in the streets and not see a Toyota parked in the streets. Impossible, I dare you. Toyota is a Japanese car company that was founded by Kishiro Toyota in 1937. Toyota's beginning in the automotive industry was really weird, but weirder is the logo, believe me. I'm gonna put the raw logo on the screen for five seconds and try to see something in there. Let's go. I've looked at it several times, and the only thing I can see right there is a cowboy. <laughs> it's right there, it's a cowboy. Well, there's two hidden messages in the logo. The first one is that if you look closely, you can find all the letters that make up the word Toyota, all of them. But the secret part that you've most definitely missed is the needle and the thread, right there. But why is there a thread and a needle in the logo, Jay? Well, because Toyota Motor Corporation was the one that was founded in 1937, but the real Toyota had been existing prior to the motor affiliate. It was founded by the father of Kishiro, Sakishi Toyota. Toyota, and it was initially a looming company. This is the automatic loom that Sakashi Toyota built. To honor their humble past, they secretly put their family's prints in the logo. The needle and the thread. What a great story, isn't it? BMW is a German automotive company that makes luxury cars and motorcycles. Founded in 1916, BMW used to make aircraft engines. They stopped producing engines in 1918, but they reactivated their business in 1933 and was one of the largest engine producers in Germany during World War II. After World War II, they decided to turn to vehicles and ever since, the Beamer company, how I like to call it, has been on a high roll. BMWs are great cars. I love them. Why does it sound like I'm selling you all these brands I'm talking about? Come on, Jay. The 
BMW logo is simple, but within that simplicity, that bastard is complicated, you know? Many people over the years thought that the logo was a propeller, trying to link that with their past like Toyota did. The only difference is that Toyota did it on purpose and BMW didn't. Because let's be honest, I'm with you guys. It does look like a propeller, but the logo is actually a lot more simpler than you think. The colors in the logo are just the flag of Bavaria, where BMW was born. For years, the South Korean automotive brand Hyundai didn't have a logo in their cars, literally. Their car just said Hyundai, and that's it. And the teachers used to call me lazy in school. <laughs> if they only knew. Many Hyundai cars in the 80s were seen as fake because they didn't have a logo. And also because even though they had a name, it was so little that you had to look for it instead of seeing it. So in 1990, they were like, okay guys, it's time to catch up with our enemies. They have the coolest logos on us Hyundai. We have our freaking name in little. And they did it. This is the logo that we all know and see today. I first sight, it's clear. There is an H, and the H stands for the initials of Hyundai. Boom. Set and clear. But even though that's an H, and I'm with you, yes, it is an H, and it does stand for the initials of Hyundai, I bet you didn't see this. The two men shaking hands and the logo in relation to the relationship between the customer and the dealership of Hyundai. <laughs> You know a tire is gonna be good when he has this stamped on the side. Continental. Continental is a German automotive part manufacturer that was founded in 1871 and it focuses primarily on tires. And oh boy, are they good tires. Damn it! Again with the free promotion! Continental has a simple logo, but you know how it goes in these situations. The simpler, the harder. The logo in Continental can be split into areas. The O and the horse. The weirdly shaped O you see in there is supposed to represent a car tire, which is basically the car part that the company specializes on. So far, so good. But then there is a secret horse who has been a subject of many theories over the years. Why is it there in the first place? Well, the most rational fact, not a theory, fact, is that it's a homage to their beginnings. Continental began when a veterinarian invented hoof buffers made of soft rubber which prevented the horses from slipping in icy surfaces. This is the beginning of Continental. They began with horses and that's why they have it on their logo. A beautiful homage. <laughs> Well, guys, that's been it for today. That's all the Jace Dose you get for today. I really hope you enjoyed this secret fact about famous logos you didn't know. And I hope you've learned a lot. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you like this. Subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one, my dudes. Peace.